Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Overflow. In this video, we'll discuss another little problem that is a binary tree pruning. This is a medium level problem and we'll understand what this question is asking us to do and how we can think on finding a solution to this question, okay? Uh, so the question says we are given a root of a binary tree, okay? So that's the root of a binary tree being given to us over here. And then uh, we need to return the same tree wherever, uh, like where every subtree of, of the given tree not containing uh, a one has been removed, okay? So wherever there isn't any one, it uh, subtree, those subtrees are removed, okay? Now, uh, what it means? It simply means, say, say it's a tree is there, one, and then uh, it's a tree is there, something other than one, says zero, okay? And it's a tree is there, uh, one over here. So if something like this is there, we need to remove this uh, branch and then only uh, return this uh, tree, right? So that's the thing, like wh wherever there isn't any one, uh, of like every subtree, okay, where every subtree of this given tree is not one, we need to uh, uh, remove those, okay? Now, uh, in, in this example one, you see like uh, the root is over here, and its left is null, its right is zero, okay? Uh, from zero, uh, it's not one you can see, but this zero, uh, it has two subtrees of itself as well. So one subtree is uh, down here. So this is zero and it doesn't have any uh, uh, left or right child and it is only zero, okay? So we remove this branch and next we find one in its uh, right subtree of our, this particular zero we have, fine. So we find one in our right subtree. So we simply remove uh, this particular zero because uh, it doesn't have any one, like any one uh, of it, like in his, any of his subtree, and it itself is not one, okay? Now, further, you can see that the answer becomes something like this, but well, so here you can ask why this uh, one, zero is also uh, remains in the question, because if we look, the, this is the root, and what is its subtree? The subtree is this whole structure, right? The subtree is this whole structure. Now, uh, in a subtree, the next thing we'll do is like, uh, the next one becomes, if this is the root, what is the subtree? If subtree becomes this, right? Uh, like left subtree is not there. So subtree becomes uh, only the right one. And we find right one is one, okay? So we cannot remove this one, right? We cannot remove this one. So if we cannot remove its subtree, then how can you remove uh, this particular value, okay? We need to see where every subtree not containing one. So each subtree, like for this particular zero, for this particular zero, each subtree is containing a one, right? So that is not the question, like that is uh, actually what the question asking us. So, so we shouldn't be uh, removing this one, right? So other than one has been removed, okay? Not containing one has been removed. So its subtree contains one. So we cannot remove this tree, like this uh, smaller tree, right? So uh, we, ca we cannot actually uh, remove this uh, one. So what we can do is like, we only remove its left subtree because it doesn't have any other one as a subtree. But this particular zero has one as its subtree. Now, uh, the concept is what the, here, what the question is asking us to do. But how will you think on uh, finding a solution? What would be a solution to this kind of question? So in this solution, let's uh, consider, let's not consider this bigger, bigger tree. Let's, uh, uh, take a small example, a small example, say our root is given and it has only one node, okay? One, uh, like the root is there and it doesn't have any left subtree or right subtree, fine? So if it has something like this, so what will we check? We'll check whether it is one or it is a zero, right? So what is this, one or zero? So that's what we'll check, right? Uh, it's a one or a zero. And now what we will find, if we find this particular subtree is uh, uh, zero, fine, we'll simply return, like if this particular subtree is zero, uh, then we'll simply return a null because uh, we should re remove that subtree, right? And if, uh, if our subtree uh, is like, if this root is one, we return uh, like true, like we return the root itself, fine? 
So that's the condition if we have only one uh, node. But once you understand what our one node is doing, okay, let's understand something more. Since one node is there, we checked for something that we didn't realize. The check was we check for his left and we check for his right. Fine. We simply check for his left. We simply check for his right. We find there's no subtree. Like it doesn't have any further subtree. Then we went for checking. It's uh, like simply went for checking is a value, whether it's zero or uh, anything else. Okay. So uh, that's the thing we try to do. And uh, here you see like the Kalina constraint is clearly mentioned. The value is either zero or one. Okay. Uh, that's clearly mentioned. But uh, like if we are getting confused, like every subtree is not containing a one. So you can have a question that, are not continuing a one, so it may be something like other than one, anything, two, three, four, five, six, anything. So that's the, the that won't be there in our question because the constraint mentions clearly that it will be zero or one. Okay, so that's it, that's the idea. And then uh, we understood what we will do for a single uh, node. Okay, single node is there. So once we understood what we're doing for a single node, then we can uh, like recursively check it for the whole tree. Okay, how? Because once we are given this uh, first node over here, okay, then we check for his left, check for his right first, fine. We check for those and then we uh, check if anyone is blank. If anyone is not blank, we went down to the next, uh, like the child node, okay. Then we find it has two nodes, then we went down to its child node, okay. Then we find it has uh, two, like this uh, zero has no other uh, subtree, okay. And we find this particular node is uh, zero. So we remove this, fine. Then we find to its right, we find this one, we don't remove it, we, we return back. And on this one, we find the left is null, on right is not null. That means it has some subtree that we couldn't remove, okay? So we, there's no need to check for its uh, value. We simply return this particular node. Uh, if we say, see the second example, okay, look at look here the second example. So well, we find the main root is one, fine. Now we we'll move it to its left, move to its right. First we move to its left. In its left we find there's some uh, another tree, okay? That there's another tree, right? Uh, just consider this small tree now because you are moving into recursively. Uh, mostly when you move here, you see a binary tree or a tree based concept. Uh, have a concept like have an idea in mind that it will more or less end up having a recursive solution because that comes up to be the best kind of solution. Okay, you can try to find out other kind of solutions, but those BFS and GFS approaches uh, helps us in that. Like uh, mostly B, uh, DFS approach is recursive, and you know the BFS approach comes up to be and Q best approach. Okay, so that's the idea. Now uh, here we are simply moving into the depth first. Okay. Uh, you, you can understand that either moving to the left or moving to the right as one at a time. So it's a DFS approach, you can say. Now, what we do, we got our single, uh, like this small uh, node over here, like a small tree over here, okay? A new tree. That's a, a subtree of our main tree, right? Now, what uh, we want to do over here is like, we now check its root, okay? It has its left, it has its right, right? We again move to its left. It is left, we find, uh, there's no left, there's no right, okay? And this, if, since both of them are null, right. and we find that root is root value is also zero, okay? So we simply remove this branch. We simply say this is null, fine? There's no more branches uh, ahead. Now, now uh, moving back to our root again, and then we uh, move back to, uh, like, move to call our uh, right subtree of this particular small subtree, okay? So we move back to call right rise subtree. So rise subtree is uh, here we find zero. Again, we check for its left, check for its right. Okay, we find both are null. And then we check for its uh, value. We find the value is itself uh, zero. So once we find both are null and the value is zero, that means there isn't any subtree. And this particular uh, this this particular tree we have is, uh, is doesn't contain any one, okay? So, we remove this branch. We simply remove this branch. That means we uh, delete this branch and return null. Fine. Now, coming back to our main root, like the, this root we have, we find the left one also became null, the right one also became null, and we check for its root condition, uh, like root value. We find, okay, this is also zero. So once 
it gets valid that left null, right null, and this is also zero. So we remove this branch. Fine. Now we come to the root of uh, the main tree. Now we move to the right. Okay. Simply move to the right. We find this one. So this one we move to is left. First condition. First we move left. Now talking about this particular tree. Now we find it move to its left, and here we find it has uh, two uh, subtrees, left and right. We look for them. We find both of them are null. Fine. Then we return back to this uh, node. We find that this particular node is zero. This is not one. Fine. If this is not one, what are we doing? We are doing simply removing that branch. Okay. Both of the subtrees are. Uh, are null and the current node value is also zero. We are removing this branch. Okay, we remove this as zero. Next, we move on to the root again and move on to its right. Fine. Right? We find it's one and it has it doesn't have a left, it doesn't have a right, but this is itself one. So there's no need to remove it. So we return back, we return back, and we find there's no paths to check further. And we find this is the tree that we are left out. Okay. So this is the concept. Okay, this is a concept that you should understand. Uh, so what you will do uh, if we just uh, think of a recursive solution, it will be a pretty uh, easy solution. The first thing you will check whether our root is null or not. Okay, because when like whenever you are checking for its left of this or left or right of this recursively, you are actually considering a next node. Okay, that is your uh, root for the next uh, subtree. Fine, but if if that is null. That means you should return null and tell, okay, there's no nothing there and this is null, fine. That's what we need to tell them. And next thing we'll check, what we'll do is like, we'll keep traversing to its left, keep traversing to its right, right? So that should be a point that we should write in our code. Like uh, we should go and traverse to its left, traverse to its right, fine. Next, what we'll do, we will uh, check like if uh, root, of, root left is null, root net is no, uh, right is null and root value is uh, zero. If all three conditions matches, then we should tell, okay, this uh, particular node doesn't exist. This is also null. Just because we just uh, break this node and we will return it to our current node. That this is also null. Right? And ultimately, we will just return our current node. So that's the idea. Let's, let's quickly write down the code. If you couldn't understand what I'm trying to say, let's quickly write down the code. It is pretty small code. Uh, let's write it down and then you will be able to understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there you see this is a like pretty fast solution, a zero millisecond solution, fine. So that's how it works actually. So uh, what exactly we did in the our code, we simply did the first check, as I said, is like checking if our root is null, okay? Uh, if our root is null, we're simply returning null, okay? Then we took, uh, we assigned root dot left, uh, like we called a prune tree root dot left, that is the left subtree. And whatever the return of that tree, we assigned it to root dot left. Okay. And similarly, we called a uh, prune tree uh, root dot right, uh, like the right subtree. And whatever is written, we assigned it to root dot right. Fine. So th these are the two uh, variables we had already, and we just assigned it to that. And further, what we did, we simply checked if root dot left is null, because currently, what is its value? Whatever is count return. If root dot left is null, and root dot right is null, and root dot value is not one. You can write is not one, or you can write like root dot value is zero or double equals zero, because uh, as I said, the constraint is clearly mentions it can be only zero and one, right? So you can either write not one, you can either go ahead with uh, uh like the equals zero, fine. It doesn't matter. So if uh like if if this condition is valid, like the left is null, right is null, and our uh current value is also not one then we simply return null, fine? Uh, like we simply return null because that's been called from somewhere, right? And if this is not the case, we can we can return uh, like a uh, root as well, okay? If, uh, we, if this is not the case, we can actually return root, root base our current root because this is the condition that happens in, in, in example one, okay? Because if left is null, right is not null. That means right has some one. So that's why you uh, stored right. So in that case, we are not checking for whether the current position is zero or not, okay? If both are null, then we're checking if the current position is zero or not, okay? 
uh, so that's the uh, more or less the idea about this question. I, you find that this is like pretty fast solution as well. So that's uh, about this video, guys. I hope you, I can make you understand how this question works and how you can think on uh, finding solutions based on this uh, binary tree uh, pruning. Okay. So thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to comment down if you have any doubts further. And also like this video and share it with your friends who are solving today's little problem that is binary tree pruning. Okay. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you.